All right, it's been a while since I made a video and I contemplated not making any more videos just because I've kind of had a string of bad luck lately. Um, I was laid off at my company and I also had some issues with PayPal and eBay and so it's just been really tough because, well, that happens and that happens in life. So we're going to talk about that. And this is something real that, um, you know, the big channels can't talk about. So I do have some of the packages that still float in as well as some new sealed product. We struggled on our last uh, Cons of Tarkir box opening, so we got us a god to hail to in order to hopefully help us do better on our sealed product opening. So we do have one box of Cons of Tarkir left, as well as our awesome Nico Bolas Dragon God. Maybe we can rub the egg for good luck or something. So he will stand here, standing supreme, reigning supreme, watching over this opening. If you're curious about what's in the pumpkin, I will disclose. You see the Disney thing here. And then these are all Disney pins, which we maybe we'll go over those one day. Other collectibles that I like other than Magic Magic. So let's keep that box over here. Um, whenever I started to make the other video, I was going to open the other box of cons, and I did not. But I did open this, which is a gorgeous collector's edition time twister. It's an 8.5. Anybody's curious about the subgrades? I mean, it's wow. I mean, it's just wow. It's nice to have in the collection. It's one of the cards we were missing. Um... Like I told you, I had some bad luck, but I also had some cards that were streaming in still. You know, that trickled in that I had already purchased and hadn't arrived. So here's the cons box. We'll get to that. Um, I'm going to start with this first. Um, and we'll go ahead and open this. And... Uh, this is just a few of the commons that I needed. You might be curious, why does he have the white weenie deck sitting out? Well, I have the white weenie deck sitting out because there's an upcoming Mythic Championship qualifier in my area, and I am considering running white weenie. Um, it's not the most popular deck right now. The only time you really see white weenie placing is in... Uh, the Azorius fashion, so it's like splashing blue and deputy of detention with um, some counters, some counter magic and stuff. So here's four Law Rune Enforcers. I'm going to add these. Um, might only play three, I don't know, but the deck is going to be tweaked and the Law Rune Enforcers are getting added. So let's pull these cards out. And we'll go ahead and do those. And then I have some really good stuff um, that I'm opening to show you guys. Um, so just bear with me. Let's get these law runes in the mix. Make sure we got our 60. And then I'll work with this later. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, um, some of the tweaks and... Um, what I might possibly be running at the Mythic Championship, I may just run uh, Mono Red Aggro, and I may not play at all, I don't know yet, but um, it is a tempting um, tournament. There's a local qualifier on Saturday, and then the if you do well there, you go Sunday to the hotel to play. So I don't know, I might play... I don't know if White Weenie is actually feasible. I know Mono Red is, but I don't know if I want to play that. And I'm limited to those two options. So other sealed product we have here. And then let's bring down our Dragon God. Okay, so... We will hold up this sealed product and this sealed product. And 
Let's see what we got here. Let's start with this. Um, so for the Lion's Eye Diamond, this thing is like minty. Oh yeah. Super Gem Minty. Hoo wee. I paid one eleven for this from a guy from Canada. And they're going for like 200 right now. I bought this last week, like a week ago. And the prices have skyrocketed. I had a feeling LEDs were undervalued. Everything else went up, but I noticed LED hadn't gone up. And it's a staple, and Storm is ridiculously good. So if you want to play Legacy Storm, you need this card. You'll pay. It's the centerpiece of the deck, as well as other decks. Um, Dredge uses it. Um, so this just gives us a chance to kind of go through the big box and, and look through the cards that I have and some stuff that I have. Um, so let's see. This is a really good package, guys. So in case you don't know... <clears throat> We are just two cards away from completing our second collector's edition full set. So if you've been following along, you may know what one of those two cards, what those two cards are. So you know you have a 50% chance of guessing this. And then after we open this, that will leave just one card remaining to complete the set. So we'll start with the card that does not complete, does not fit the picture, but it's an Italian mana drain in very good condition, paid $50. Centering's not great, but card is beautiful. We've got a very near mint, minty Mox Emerald with a promo detection probe. Ooh, two of them. Oily. Oh, it's sealed. Let's see, is it two or more? I'm not trying to be greedy, I'm just making sure. I think this is the promo. I can't remember, but maybe not. I have the promo. I don't think that is. I think that's the regular detection probe foil, but that's still really cool. The mana drain and the emerald. The emerald has to come out because um, it's going to go in the book. We're going to start cracking some sealed product. So I just want to talk um, of course, about the state of magic. What I'll do is I'll just set all these cards together and um, off to the side with the time twister back here. And I can put them all away after the video. And then I need to go through my collection through the video. Mmm. Um, let's go. So, let's see what we got in this lonely booster pack. So, I'm going to have a collector of tails. Not bad for a single booster pack. Smells strange. Smells good though. Alright. This is good because I needed an extra fat pack box. Everybody needs bundles. Bundle boxes. And these are cool bundle boxes to have, so.
Logan's Veto, that's a good card. Oh, Chandra, that's a good hit. It's like a five, six dollar card. Logan's Veto is a buck. Chandra was a good hit. Sahili's a good hit. Massacre Girl. Uh, super common to get. Foil. Arnold. Feather. That's a good card. Goblin token. That's cool. I need some Vampire and Knight tokens if I'm going to play that White Weenie deck this weekend. But, let's see. Ooh, Foil Rare. How about that? There's a little multicolor permanence. Well, that's our Foil for the box. Our Foil Rare for the box. So, no chance at anything like super crazy. I mean, if every card is good, though, obviously, we're happy with that. Everything's good and nothing is great. That's okay. Commence the end game. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Finale of Eternity. There's our mythic. Celebration. Oh, there's some Waldron Enforcers. Sarkon the Masterless. I don't know if he's even good. I don't think so. I haven't seen him in anything really. I don't know, maybe cool mid range. Uh, following the format that much so that's gonna oh there's another mythic that's gonna definitely be a hindrance it's hard to really be competitive if you're not super familiar with every card and every um, deck in the format just being honest Vivian she's good <laughs> this was a good box this is a really good box So, there's those. Agar Pull is good too. There's the Eve. We'll put this with that. And then we'll just keep these on top to keep it safe. Um, so, let's open some cons and see if we can hit some fetch lands. I feel pretty good about what Mr. Bolas has done for us so far. Fix the camera. See what we got. All right. So, too late now. They were Korean. Foil fetch and a Soren on the first pack. I think Mr. Bolas is lucky. Holy shit balls, y'all. Holy shit balls, y'all. That's what we say in Florida, y'all. Foil fetch land. There it is. First pack.
I'm impressed. So I don't know what that card does. Um, foil. Well, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with that. So I actually recently heard Rudy make a video about how he doesn't think, which is a video I made a while back, he doesn't think that the growth that we're having now is permanent or long-term, that it is just a phase for, you know, these are cool actually, these Korean basics. Um, people might actually want those um, just to run Korean, all Korean basics. I think that might be neat. But yeah, so, I'm not sure if it is either. I mean, I, I don't know if I really care. He actually said he's going to back off investing. And I'm not meaning to sound like a copycat because I'm definitely not. But I was also thinking about uh, backing off investing. In, and, and he's not saying indefinitely. He says the sealed box um, product market is booming. But the fact that it is booming is weird because it could shift the expected um, the actual value of the products because typically before people weren't opening them or hoarding them like crazy so now um, they're not going up people were just opening them and now they might not follow the same trends because they're not being exchanged and used in the market the same way if that makes sense So we started off really good in every box that I've ever seen that has a foil fetch land has a good amount of fetch lands. I've never seen a box with a foil fetch land and then no more or just one more. So hopefully we continue the luck with um, the rest of the box. But yeah, so what I was saying is that I just, you know, having ups and downs in life is a real thing. And uh, the large channels can't really relate to that because they're, hey, and they have such a huge position. I mean, we have basically built this entire collection almost um, on camera. So, um, there's a sword going taken. I don't know. It's just more real and relatable. Um, and I want to keep going. So, I mean, until my collection starts to crash, I'm going to keep going. So there's another windswept teeth. We've hit another fetch land. I have another one of these actually that I hit in another box. So that gives us three of foil and two regulars. We'll continue down the line. So we're already at two fetch lands in the first stack. We have two stacks to go. We're not even a third of the way through the box. Sounds good when you put it like that. That was a cool box, this, or a pack of Soren and the Windswept foil fetch land. Though it's the cheapest, especially, and it's still cool to hit a hit one. This pack opened really easily, like strangely easily. But the whole box was sealed, so I guess I can't be concerned. Let's see if this one's like that. No. Oh, yeah, it does come apart pretty easily. But I think it's supposed to be like that. Seems right. So. <clears throat> let's hit something good, y'all. Uh, 
I'm going to be opening quite a bit of, oh, that's good. Polluted Delta. That's really good. So I'm going to be opening quite a bit of, I'm really glad I opened this box now. And this makes me feel like my luck is shifting, not only in the cards, but in life. So hopefully, you know, that means I'm going to have a new position at a better company, paying more money coming soon. I do have a couple of interviews coming up, but um, I wasn't fired, but we just had some disagreements and it was something irreconcilable differences. And now we're hitting back to back fetchies. All right. That's awesome. We're really happy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the Mox box real quick. And let's get the... have another hallowed fountain and two more wooded foothills not rugged prairies Jesus um, but let's just keep going on so we have a hallowed fountain and two more wooded foothills Nico Bolas, you are lucky as hell. Oh, Hardened Scales. Yes, that's a great card. This is the only foil basic. That's cool. Um, it's the only rare in the set worth more than basically anything. More than five bucks. So it's about five or six bucks, maybe even a little bit more. There's like a whole deck built around it. Um, trying to remember where I put those other fetching knives. I took them with me. Oh, I know where they are. I don't even know what that card is. There they are. The hollowed fountain is in the deck. <laughs> Flooded strand. Probably been calling it hollowed fountain the whole video. You know how your brain does stuff like that? Yeah, we're rolling now. We're just rolling right along. I won't stop anymore. If you can't tell, I got ADHD. <laughs> but also, it's, it's just nice to make a longer video. Uh-oh, we got Mythics pouring in. That's kind of a bad sign because a lot of times it just means uh, not fetch lands. <laughs> So we could be running out of steam. We've already done really well on this box. Um, let's just keep on rolling and see what happens. So we're almost two thirds of the way through.
Can we hit one more? Can we hit one more? See you, Joanna. Alright. Let's cart the commons out of here. Strange. If we do hit one more, we'll have hit an, as many in this one box as we hit in both of the others. So that could happen. There's a foil common. Foil rare. Oh, but well, that's weird. That's a second foil rare. We got a foil fetch and a foil rare. I swear the the fetch fetch lands are like on the mythic line, like on the mythic sheet. I I think or something. There's a <laughs> non foil version. Just as worthless. Where are my uncommons at? Oh. I don't know. I jacked the piles up. Fix them later. That's a Mantis Rider, is it? Looks like it. bad thing about this set is it has like no valuable commons or uncommons really which kind of makes it even worse I mean the only value at all is really in the fetch land so it's without a doubt fetch land or bust in this set which we have talked about before um, this is the last box of cons I'll probably open for a while it's the last one that I have um, but it doesn't mean I can't buy more. But with the um, trends and box prices right now, good lord. I don't see that happening at all. Um, we'd like to get one more section in off the uh, last line. Um, last third of the box. Another mythic. That's worthless, but it is what it is. You know, maybe one day some of the cards in this set go up in value, but I don't see that happening. I don't know which ones really would. There's nothing extremely powerful in the set besides the fetch lands. So if they just like never reprinted fetch lands, <laughs> which is the act of placing them on the reserve list, then or maybe they're smart enough to realize they don't have to put a card on the reserve list to not print it anymore. They just stop printing it. Well, last pack. I'm already extremely happy with the way it in, the way it turned out, and flying carpet technique doesn't help. And <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. Um, so here we go. That's what we got. And then I have the like I said the other. But it's strand is in the deck. Um, again, the other cards. And we got the 8.5 time twister. We got the collector's edition. Very good.
condition collectors edition box ammo hello focus focus no okay that's fine Action probe, mana drain, mind's eye diamond. All right, how about a little cardboard porn for everybody? Hope you enjoyed my kitchen table filled with magic cards. Nico Bolas, he was very lucky for us today. <laughs> All right, I'll have a lot more coming soon. Um, some standard talk. Um, I didn't have a lot to discuss today. I just wanted to see what we could open up and be back soon. So if you have liked the videos already, I appreciate it. But if you could subscribe and like and um, maybe share the videos just so we can get some more uh, people in here, some more ideas of other videos you guys would like to see and we'll do it we'll open it up we'll go through it we'll talk about it but as you know we really only focus on the cards that are pre-2000 and then um we do play a little bit of short-term investments short-term stuff uh, which like really is the like the mana drain the lion's eye diamond the fetch lands they're all in my opinion these are all my short-term investments i picked them up i picked them up for good deals i catch them in a spike and right now you know like i got this led last week for 110 and it was a good deal last week but this week it's a fucking great deal because the card's 200 dollars now i got the mana drain for 50 bucks at a good deal this week you can't find one for under 75 and this thing looks I mean, it's minty. It's There's no knocks on it or anything. The emerald is a little rougher, but we only paid um, $3.50 for it. So um, I'm really happy with everything that we got going on. So thanks a lot, guys. I, I really appreciate all the love and all the support. And I mean, it's not much, but I'm not going to give up on growing the channel. Um, you know, hopefully I can land a good position somewhere and we can continue to build. But for the moment, we're at a little bit of a standstill, but it happens. That's life. And, you know, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll have some new cards and you'll we'll see. Hopefully Bolas is lucky not only in opening up cards, but in life. This has been my mascot for many years. Um, not the Bolas, but here's my old mascot. <laughs> And we're going to transition. We're going to let Bolas take the reins and see if the dragon god can pull us out of a rut. All right, guys. I know it's cheesy, but um, also let me know if you want me to go over the Disney pins. I got 50.